What is lipoid pneumonia? Most of us know what regular pneumonia is, but its cousin disease, lipoid pneumonia, is not as well known. This rare condition occurs when fat particles enter the lungs. Lipids are also called fat molecules, and pneumonia refers to the inflammation of the lungs. So when these fat particles irritate the lungs, it's called lipoid pneumonia. There are a further two types of lipoid pneumonia. The first one is exogenous lipoid pneumonia, which occurs when fat particles enter from outside the body and then reach the lungs through the nose or mouth. When any sort of particle enters the windpipe instead of the esophagus, it can end up in the lungs. The inflammatory reaction caused by these particles depends on the type of oil that entered the body and how long they've been there. Usually, it's a mineral oil-based laxative. Other fatty substances that can cause this are oils in olive oil, milk and egg yolks, petroleum jelly, and cardin, which is a type of petroleum that's used by performers who do stunts with fire. Even the oil-based substances found in e-cigarettes can enter the wrong pipe. The second type is called endogenous lipoid pneumonia, in which fat particles accumulate in the lungs and cause inflammation. It can occur when an airway gets blocked, such as by a lung tumor. These blockages can cause cells to break down and become inflamed, further leading to an accumulation of debris. This debris can include cholesterol, a fat that's very difficult to break down. Further accumulation just leads to inflammation. The worrisome part is that both these types of lipoid pneumonia vary from person to person by a lot. Some might not experience any symptoms at all, while others might experience mild symptoms. This disease only worsens over time, and in some cases, it can become life-threatening. Some of its common symptoms are chest pain, chronic cough, and difficulty in breathing. However, the less common symptoms include fever, coughing blood, weight loss, night sweats, and even difficulty in swallowing. The diagnosis usually starts with a physical exam and a list of your symptoms. Its symptoms are much similar to those of other lung conditions such as tuberculosis and lung cancer, which makes it sort of difficult to diagnose. On top of that, most pneumonia is visible on a chest x-ray, but just an x-ray isn't enough to identify which type of pneumonia you have. That's why, be sure to tell your doctor about any routine use of common oils such as lip balm, baby oil, or chest vapor rubs. Once you're diagnosed with one of these variants of lipoid pneumonia, your treatment could just be avoiding the exposure to these fatty substances, especially if you have exogenous lipoid pneumonia. You might also be prescribed anti-inflammatory medications. Other treatments include oxygen therapy and respiratory therapy so you can breathe easier. All in all, once you get diagnosed, it can be easy to treat this disease. There have been a few long-term studies of lipoid pneumonia, and they suggest that the outlook is usually good. The outlook is also affected by the overall lung health and if you have other chronic lung diseases. If you learned something about lipoid pneumonia, please leave us a comment in the comment section down below and share this video with your friends and family. Have a great day.